Hello everyone, I'm the Kremlin Archer and welcome to Breath Edge. I think is how you pronounce it. I haven't actually heard it spoken out loud, but I'm pretty sure it's Breath Edge. Uh, Breath Edge is a new uh, adventure survival-ish space game that's coming out into early access soonish. I don't have a firm release date yet. But this is some beta gameplay they sent the code to me. said, hey, you want to check it out? And I said, that sounds like a thing that's up my alley. It's supposed to have kind of a dark humorous tone to it and an actual story, which is a difference from a lot of um, survival games. So let's uh, let's just dive right in. I have not actually... Yeah, so obviously these aren't all here yet, but you've got standard mode. You've got a story mode, which is, I'm guessing... Yeah, it's, it makes it easier. Permade permadeath mode. And then no restrictions on death, everything is available. Story storyline is the same. This is like a like a sandbox mode. Alright, so we can name the game. I'm just gonna call this one the Crumulant Archer Space Time Thingy. Alright, that'll work. <laughs> Alright, play. In-game encyclopedia can suggest locations of useful resources. Oh. I don't know if there'll be any tutorial any tutorial or not, but. If there is, we will be stepping through it. Oh. Fancy opening credits at the beginning of the game. <laughs> 22 get awards some other game received. Searching for this font took a path to development time. It's hard to find a good font. Director isn't needed here at all. Red Row and Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud headlines in newspapers and other diseases. Therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette in the robot's claw for something more useful. Nah, you can smoke. Although, it probably would have been funnier to switch it yeah, out. You are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm. Put a defiant spin, ex defiant expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Where did that, uh... You tell us all from the oh, we spit inside of our helmet. Islands. That's what happened there. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Huh? Spitting was lousy idea, we agree. You better tell him the story first. You can still have a defined expression. What happens if we spit again? <laughs> you tell us I'm yeah, just gonna say the same thing again. You tell us that you he is a robot, general, after all. But the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm. Here, 20, 2073. Somewhere on the outskirts of the universe. Fancy spaceship. Interstellar li liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other. Something edge could be here. I didn't couldn't quite read that. Oh, poor dead guy. <laughs> Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe activists promise new terrorist activity if burying any kind of meat in space. Something. Oh, that seems bad. Grandpa, no. Pretty. You know, in that deadly sort of way. Breath edge. Chapter 1, Lost in Space. Excuse me. Lost in Space! You 
lied to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. Now we're gonna we're gonna do it properly this time. Auction station. Simplify space exploration. I wonder where to find them. It's a zero meters per second. Danger key boy, stop. Greetings. I'm your funerary spacesuit built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Um, yes, I can still read. Splendid. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. Okay, plug the leak. Interesting way to plug a leak. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. <laughs> when picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. Alright, so let's try this again. No, that's not what I want. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Alright, so how do I get to my inventory? Pick up the chewing gum from your pocket. Try not there. to get your funerary spacesuit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your hand. Stick it somewhere except for your face. You deserve some there we encouragement. Go. <laughs> That's impressive. You've almost hey, won. Survivor achievement. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. All right, so we can extract some plating. Let's go into our ship here. Okay, we have we have gravity in here. I can't do whatever that is. Oh, we have a we have a body. Check that out. Bathroom. The waste disposal system is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. Well, oh, okay. We can apparently pee places. Classy game. Classy. Need a scanner. It's a radio. Oh, lights. Okay. Sorry, I'm just exploring right now. Drill blueprint. Grandpa's garage was full of such blueprints with them. Even a hamster could assemble a tiny helicopter for itself if it had the wheel and a Phillips head screwdriver. You can turn it? Yeah, let's take it. When you discover a new blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory or processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. Alright. Why dis why is disturbing factor uneven? The secretive longevity. Famous car exhibition turns out to be a disguise of cannibals chipmunks. Page of the famous and only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth. It's been published for a long period of time, is distinguished by honesty, openness, and good absorbency and softness of paper, which makes it indispensable piece of trashy literature to their hearts. But the probability something. of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. Alright, so we need stuff, basically. We have to add things to it. It's our achievement, we got Survivor. Expensive, unfiltered, dark, tasteless, and non-alcoholic. Something chosen by Grandpa solely because of its label. He always denied that diet wrinkled his face while choking on the scrap. All right. Grandpa's picture. One last photo of Grandpa, who didn't part with the chicken until his death. He really liked himself here. Couldn't help putting his photo in a frame. I'm just going to take everything for the moment. Dog beer. Cheapest swill. Alright, I'm not going to read everything here. What is this? Rare edition of physics in several volumes. They say 
The one who reads all 50 books will become the person who reads all 50 books. Can't argue with that. Alcohol. I don't have any videotapes. Oh, there's one. Humorous survival guide recorded by Grandpa's friends. All right, now I have a tape. To pee or not to pee? Space is so dangerous, it's so unpredictable, just like your bladder. All right, yes, there's the hamster in the toilet. In space, you can find yourself left without most valuable equipment. This is wrong. Try to keep it all in. Thought this waste of resources can lead to a man to death. Guys, don't pee all over everything. Spoil the environment and search of aids and all equipment, most valuable equipment. Don't, don't pee in the vacuum of space. Flex stuff, okay. Careful what you grab, apparently. Yeah. So yeah, apparently our chicken is immortal, by the way. Um, this is what I've been, I've seen in the information. Pair most valuable equipment. Hey, toilet. Alright, I guess that's probably it. I don't really want to watch a video of the guy peeing for a long time. Alright, so what am I looking at here? Summer 2008. Looks like India. Someone I never asked where the photo is from. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Completely forgot about it. Two U three one three Baco. Home number can't reach it, of course. Just the antenna. You'll have to go into outer space. All right. Is this thing starting over? Oops. Remove the tape. Turn it off. I don't want to listen to that anymore. We got a grabber. Blueprint for a grabber. Open. Oh, this is our inventory. Apparently there's a, some something called a scanner that we're going to have to find. It's a book. Alright, let's go outside. Let's go exploring, right? Probably die. Might be fun. A source of increased radiation is detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. Okay. So we don't have much in the way of... Oh, hang on. Need a hand scraper. Grab it. Grab it. Nutritious goo. Bottle of water. More water. Oxygen is not unlimited. Alright, so let's go pick whatever this is. Ooh. Nope. Hang on a second, real quick. What is this? Back scratcher. Let's put that down there. I might need that for something. The shuttle's plating is blue. These are the rescuers. Given that the evacuation shuttles have increased strength, the impact force must have been incredible. What is this? The rescuer spacesuits are like funerary ones, but I always wanted to learn how their flashlights work as they don't require recharging. I propose we loot the corpse for scientific purposes. Okay, how do I do that? 
Also, I'm about to about to run out of air. Go, man, go. All right, I think we're about to die. Hang in there, man. Hang in there. We're almost home. There you go. All right. So how do you eat nutritious goo? I didn't really want to drop that. Do you have to put it down here? Apparently not. All right, can I do anything over here? Nutrition package. There we go. Make it out of nutritious goo and ice. Water. All right, we're figuring it out. Apparently when you click off, it doesn't, you have to stay on it the whole time, it looks like. I like that, I dig the little song it's singing in there. I really hope it's not, um... That was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. Okay. What does that mean? It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to great news. Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation code. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about... Remember that you are still able to become depressed. I feel like we're accidentally interrupting things, but I don't know what to do about it. Considering I was running out of air and I needed to get inside. Alright, whatever we're supposed to do is over here. Oh, it's inside still? I love you, the chicken. Oh, we're getting these from the other side. <laughs> Can't really interact with that. Okay. What is this? Anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. What are we supposed to do in here? What are we supposed to make now? Let's check the antenna establish community. Create a debugging station. You have to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is build the cryptographic debugging station, reconfigure the interphone with these codes. About five years with your current skill. Attrition package. So these are the things we know how to make, I guess. So, I go over here. Your phone is broken. Man, I wonder who broke that. Some asshole, probably. Alright, so I guess we'll just... We just have to go. Let's see if we can go... Is there any way to speed this up? Apparently not. I'm gonna check out this spacesuit that we didn't quite figure out. I don't know how to go faster either. 12, uh, 12 meters a second seems to be about our limit. Can't seem to do anything with this guy. All right, all right, all right. Probably could still come up short here. I need to double probably check the um yeah, start taking damage. Oh, 
Get in there. Alright. Oh, good back scratch right there. Can't make anything, right? Just checking again. Make sure we can't make anything. Grabber. Drill. Cryptographic debugging station, which actually only takes two metal and one wire, so that's not too bad. Alt stops us from moving. Primary analysis of the destruction. Most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics. The reasons for which are yet to be clarified. All right, there's some refined metal. Hey, bud. Can you come with me? Hey, water. I think. I think that's water. <laughs> We're in. No worries. Alright, what did I get here? Metal. I can't make wire, right? That was not something we know how to make yet. All the fabric. No. Make one of these bad boys. Oh, that is water. Good. Let's eat one of these. Oh, nope, didn't want to throw them on the ground. Wanted to consume them, but whatever. Yeah. This is kind of always kind of tricky moving around space. Crowbar. Hey, wire. Yeah, yeah. I think that's that's the stuff we need, so we can make that cryptographic whatchamadoodle now. It's so cheery in here with that music playing. Exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. It's <laughs> one way to debug. All for help. Ten survivors rescue shuttle Hope was sent from the your nearest evacuation point due to a slight engine Rescuers malfunction. Rescue time exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> All right. So now it's just like survive and get better, I guess. September. Typical calendar with girls. Miss September. Grandpa loved and carefully collected such things. I remember in my childhood, Miss December from Grandpa's collection got a fashionably painted mustache. I got my ass with some wide strips from Grandpa's belt. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to stop here for today. So this is Breath Edge so far. I'm going to play some more of this because I'm enjoying it so far, even though it's a little 
tricky to do anything outside at the moment. Um, but we'll make some better spacesuits. I'm sure it'll be better. And uh, I'll, uh, if you're enjoying it, please leave me a like. Helps out a great deal. Consider subscribing if you want to see more in the future. And uh, I'll see you later. Thanks so much.